Hello, welcome back to Blender Switch Live. In this episode, I want to show you this simple setup, but really fun that you can do using Blender and Bespoke Synth app. Okay, so first of all, let's see what it does. So you can see, uh, I'm using this Akai MPK Mini my uh, MIDI keyboard controller. So whatever sounds I'm doing here, it's connected to Blender um, using an add-on. The add-on that's, that's currently running is called Node OSC and it's controlling Suzanne. So it goes up and down based on whatever music I'm playing here, just the, the level of the music and also, Blender, when Susan goes up, it will extrude the face. Okay, so there's a lot of things happening, but in a nutshell, basically, I'm sending signal from Bespoke app that's being controlled using MIDI controller into Blender, and it's currently listening at this address. And so that's the value coming in into Susan, and it's being controlled using this node OSC server, okay? So I'm gonna try to recreate this from scratch. Oh, by the way, Bespoke app, uh, you can download this and just look at the tutorial by Ryan. Um, it should work right away if you install it, but I will always show you. I like uh, actually working with nodes and it's, it's a, there's a lot of experiment you can do with this, even with just Bespoke app. So, but I will talk how to send this data into Blender. So let's uh, just start from scratch. First of all, stop the OSC. I will close Blender for now. Bespoke, I will actually start from scratch. So create a new patch. Okay, we totally have, <coughs> excuse me. We have nothing. We just, uh, we need to create something in a bit. The simplest you can do, first of all, I will just bring this closer. This is the output and you want to send signal from the MIDI. So I will create a MIDI controller. So MIDI controller. And I will send OS oscillator signal into Blender. Or at least still inside Bespoke. Um, I just want to create a sound. So just now I just connect my MIDI controller into the oscillator. And we are creating square wave. Okay, I can change this to scene or sine wave or try. Uh, Bespoke itself already have a bit a beautiful visualization here that I will try to recreate inside Blender at some point. But for now, um, I'm gonna show you that. Okay, we have something already going on here, right? We want to send some data into Blender. The way we do it is by using OSC output. Okay, so. And we want to send the data into Blender using this. Um, and we're gonna use level, level to CV. And this is the one that's gonna be doing the magic for us. So while holding shift, we create another line here and we're gonna connect it to gain, I believe. Let me, oh, actually just do it like this and then connect the output of level to CV into the slider. So we have eight sliders that we can send to Blender. I believe the minimum and maximum also needs to be adjusted. Thank you. 
So, yeah, I think it should be working now. Uh, let's open up Blender. So this is the address the OSC OSC will send to Blender. One two seven zero zero one. So hopefully this works. I've done this video in the past, but this is the latest update of Blender and everything is a lot faster now, actually, even faster than before. So everything is, should run uh, in real time. So I have Suzanne and the fastest way to connect this using Node OSC is simply by right clicking on whatever parameter you want to adjust. In this case, I just want to control the location. So right click on the locations and create a node OSC handler. Now over here, first of all, we need to connect this address. So the input is going to be this address, which is local address of my machine. And then I just connect it into this port, port 7000. And this is Susan. Okay, the address that's coming in should be from Bespoke. I will just start this and monitor the value. So there is actually some audio coming in from this guy. Uh, I think there's a value that keeps going ups and down. I don't know why, but this this is the address bespoke slider dot zero. I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna stop the OSC and then paste the address into this uh, this slot parameters. And I will be adjusting Suzanne locations. The argument, the value that's coming in is only one value, so I'm just gonna specify zero. So and if I run this. It should work. Let me double check. Susan location. Let me location two. Okay. Now it's working. Um, there's something funny going on here. Yeah, Susan keeps going ups and down, but at least the value is coming in. I have a feeling I connect the wrong nodes from this. Let me try this connecting. Maybe it's detecting strong signal from the from the input value. Okay, that's interesting. Let's delete level to CV. So I just wanna create another that nodes once again. Level to CV. And I'm gonna connect this into the nodes. And the output should go into the slider. Now I'm just adjusting the gain. And while doing this, I'll, I will also hold shift and connect this to the gain. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's working correctly now. So this is just a basic example with uh, again with a simple uh, a single monkey head. I think I've done this in the past really I should have shown another example where we have maybe eight monkey head and each eight monkey head is controlled into connected into the MIDI controller. That should be possible. Uh, but for now I will help also show you something else yeah 
you can play with this uh, bespoke uh, for whole day, but there's something I want to show you. Fibble, uh, Fubble. Yeah, Fubble is really cool because you can kind of, you can draw something here. And you can see there's like a kind of like a motion, motion path animation going on. And the output of this can be connected into whatever. This will add like a texture into our signal, our oscillators. On top of that, you can animate and mutate and warp this line. So I kind of wish that maybe we can do the same thing using geometry nodes at some point. So now we have like real-time visualizations inside Blender that's being controlled using Bespoke, all right? And the last thing I want to show you is that we can use geometry nodes. So, okay, we have Suzanne here. Let's create geometry nodes for Suzanne. And Shift A, I will use self object. And from self objects, I want to monitor the position of Suzanne. So if I just drag this and then release, and then I say, okay, I want to object info. And I want to have this, uh, I want to separate the locations. I want to monitor Suzanne Z. So if Suzanne get lift up by the music, I want to extrude Suzanne using this value of the Z. Yeah, so that's basically everything I'm going to show you. You can add light or whatever. In this case, it's like super simple, right? Um, offsets, scale, individual. <laughs> this is this animation reminds me of what you know, like uh, Totoro when he got dropped by the the raindrops. It shivers. The funny thing is that yeah, the texture, the jitter is coming from this guy from 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 Bespoke using Fubble, which adjusting this face. I can use the X and Y of the Fubble. So this really, um, it's kind of interesting, like, uh, so uh, the value is coming from my keyboard, from my MPK Mini. So I can use a pregiator. So the signal coming in, you can see it. It's very clear, and I think really I really like Bespoke uh, app for that. And there's like visualization here, and then it goes into the oscillator, and it's generating sound for us. a lot of fun just doing this I think what's um, what's missing I I forgot I forget the way to maybe increase the the slider value increase the maximum so Suzanne can go a little bit higher uh, back in the day like between current version of blender and many many version back there's actually animation nodes and sorcar and with animation nodes you can really control uh, how the signal coming in into blender and then you control them the, and remap the value minimum and maximum value so you you have full control on that in this case okay uh, so bespoke is just one example in reality you can actually use a lot of things uh, maybe like use your face and uh, there is an add-on, another add-on called Face OSC, I believe, which you can connect with Face It add-on. Uh, I mean, basically using your iPhone to control 
Now, uh, whatever inside Blender. Okay, so that's uh, this is something that I would actually do, not just using Blender. Um, if you use Unity or Unreal, this is also quite common uh, to have to be able to control everything in real time. So using uh, yeah, just creating. Just using a uh, signal one input so using one input value coming in into one app into another app in real time and being able to control this okay i know it's a it's very simple very basic but hopefully you find this interesting and useful uh yeah i, I will try to do more with this uh, setup similar setup so because I like I like to make music even though it's a bit random, but I also like to use Blender. Maybe we should do like grease pencil drawing while playing music. Maybe I should do that. Uh, but yeah, it should be fun. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.